Feral Daryl plays. Hello, everyone. It is the Feral Daryl that plays. Today, we are playing a new game. We are playing none other than Minecraft. So, if you want more Minecraft videos like this, more in this series, please let me know. Just please comment below what y'all like. More Roblox, more Minecraft, more of both. I will be happy to do more of both for y'all. So, as you'll see right here, single one, season one, single player, let's play episode one. That's what we're in today. So we're going to get a new seed, a new world, and spawn. Brand new, straight off the bat for y'all. And we're going to build this world together. Start from nothing, work our way up. So it looks like we spawn in a spruce forest. And we're going to do a little bit of exploring and some wood gathering. So I've never played Minecraft on a PC before. That's what I'm playing now. I'm playing Minecraft Java Edition. I've never played on this before. I've only ever played Minecraft Pocket Edition, which I have beat the Ender Dragon and beaten the game many times. But in Java Edition, I've never played Java edi ed Edition. So this is my first time. So please don't get mad if I mess up or do anything bad because I probably will die later in this video. But I'm going to keep going because this is not hardcore. This is just normal Minecraft. So I'm figuring out how to move the slots in my inventory and how to do all of that. I'm still getting wood. Of course, the first thing you do in Minecraft is get wood. You've got to punch the trees and get the wood from the trees. So my house that I'm going to build, I am looking for an island because we're in ocean and spruce biomes. As you can see, there's an ocean right there and there's spruce trees everywhere. So we're in a spruce forest. My goal is to find a island near a mega taiga which there's a mega taiga right there because the big giant trees i want to build towards a mega taiga so the background will look really really good when i build on an island like seriously it will look so good the backdrop itself will look good when i'm building on an island therefore i won't have to be super good at building in order to do good because i'm not the best builder at minecraft I'm mostly good at redstone projects and other things like that. I'm not the best at building, as y'all will see later in this video, but I'm still going to build to the best of my ability and do the best that I can at Minecraft for you guys. So look, ooh, it's lagging a lot. So it looks like over there, there's a savanna. I don't want to go to the savanna quite yet. Maybe in the future I will, but I'm collecting the sugar cane right here because it is very important in the future. Sugar cane helps you get books, which, which helps you make them into enchantment tables in, in the long run. Enchantment table and books will help me upgrade super, super fast and get better at the game so that I can actually play and you guys can enjoy it. Because this right now is just episode one. There's many more episodes to come if you'll like it. And yeah, let's keep going. So I have 13 pieces of sugar cane right now. I'm always hoping to get more because it's what helps me in this game get better and better. So there's a mountain right there. There's a big, giant, tall mountain. And what I'm going to do is settle over the night in the mountain so that I can sleep overnight, so I have a safe place to sleep and upgrade my tools and at least get some tools at first so that I can have stone tools to start out with because wooden tools are not good. That's one thing I never do in Minecraft. I never make all wooden tools. I always make stone tools first. The only wooden tool I ever make is a pickaxe so that I can get wooden tools. So I will be going to be making a wooden pickaxe and I will be getting every piece of meat I can find so I can live off this meat for a while and then later in episode 2 we'll figure out better ideas and better ways to get more resources, especially food. Right now we only have 6 pieces of meat that will not last us very long. It will probably last us this episode but not much longer after that. So my goals for this episode is one, to find a place to build, two, to convert that place into a buildable spot by making it a relatively flat area, and then three, building a starter house in that area. 
Now, when y'all build a starter house, y'all might build a little 2x2 two two indoor shack. I usually build like a 16x16 16 16 house. It's like half a chunk because one chunk is 32 by 32 I usually build a half a chunk house so it's pretty big but not the biggest so right now I'm trying to figure out how to grab the wood and how to place it all down because I've never played before I've never played on Java Edition but I do know the recipes uh, I know some of the recipes changed a little bit but still that will not be that much of trouble to me so I'm going to settle overnight which actually it's not even close to nighttime yet but still, I'm going to settle there early so that I do have a place to sleep overnight. Also, what's so great about punching trees is I get tons and tons of sticks. Getting sticks and also these saplings. Saplings are good beginner fuel for the early game. I can use it as fuel in my furnace so that I can cook my meat and cook anything else that I need to cook. Therefore, punching trees is the best way to get good at the game at first. Is to You always punch tons and tons of trees on the first or second day. But for me, I'm going to do it on the second day or third day so that I can um, settle overnight so I don't die because I really don't want to die. So I have 15 cobblestone. I can make a full set of cobblestone tools right here. There you go. Getting an upgrade already. I've got a few advancements. Getting wood stone age and getting an upgrade every episode my goal is to achieve an advancement even if it's not an advancement on the screen still I would love to do it it's a great challenge to try and get an advancement every episode I have never had this enchantments feature before and I'd love to try it out and get a new advancement every single episode in pocket edition we never had such things and I was never signed in to Xbox Live account or anything like that, so I never did anything fancy. So, right here I'm getting cobblestone so that we can use for the floor of our house. Obviously, this is not enough cobblestone to have for the floor of my house. Because my floor will be uh, probably two stacks of cobblestone, which is what it will need. So, that shows right there how much wood I'm going to need. If it's a stack and a half of cobblestone for the walls, for the roof, everything, I'm going to need a whole lot more wood. So I will be crafting more stuff so that I can get better equipment so I can cut wood easier. That's the best thing to do. There you go. I got my axe. I'm going to put it in my inventory. I'm going to sort out my inventory later to put it where I want. I have a hoe right here so I can use it to farm in episode 2. Hint, hint, that's what we're going to do in episode 2. We're going to mine, and we're going to farm and get some food. Because currently I have these six pieces of meat, and I'm going to make them last the whole rest of the episode, unless I find more animals, which I highly doubt I will. So, I'm putting this in the order that I want right now. Uh, sword, pickaxe, axe, hoe, and then shovel. So... Now I'm memorizing where they go in my inventory so I can click the numbers on the keyboard to go back and forth to the inventory spot that I need. Right now I'm killing squids because you get black dye, you get ink sacks, which is quite awesome. Also, I'm very excited for the next update where we'll be getting glow squids, which would be pretty cool. Not the coolest thing, but still pretty cool. So I'm getting ink sacks so I can dye stuff later on. It's pretty awesome. So, there's the moss cobblestone right there in the river. That's not a mob spawner. It's just for the spruce and taiga biome. So, I'm going to go to another clip. I'll be back in a few hours. Okay, here we are. So, we have left the camp after the night. And I found a place where I'm going to live for the first few episodes. Right here on this island, there's a mega taiga in the background. It's exactly what I imagined we would be living on. It is an island, but the only thing that I do not like about it is it's hollow. The inside is just a big hole. It's like a crater, and there's water in the inside. So I have to drain the water, and then I will have to build on top of it, build a flat land, so this space will be buildable. Because right now it is definitely not buildable. I also don't have a skin on. I'm still Minecraft Steve. Sorry about that, guys. 
I'll get a skin later. I'm not quite sure how to right now because it's my first time playing Java Edition. So I'm going to set up here, get things started, and then we'll build our own house later on in this episode. We, we will have to collect many different resources though in order to have enough resources to build our house because right now I barely have anything. I barely had enough wood to create this campfire and the boat in my inventory. And I also only have three pieces of meat. So next episode we'll be getting another way to get more food. Let's go to the next clip. Here's the next day. So later in that night I'm clicking to go to bed and then something happens. I got jump scared right there. I got a trident thrown at me. I was not ready for this. I was halfway AFK and then it started lagging like crazy and then I saw that I took damage and I'm like what? And then I saw a trident. I'm like oh no the drowns have spawned and have found me already. That is definitely not what we need. So I'm being smart right now by lighting up the island so that no other mobs would spawn besides this trident guy because this trident guy is deadly enough. So by the looks of it I will die. I have half a heart left and I'm not good at PvP quite yet because I've, I've never played Java Edition before. So much different from tapping on a screen and playing with the mouse and I've never used this mouse either. I finally got a new mouse to where I right and left click which is perfect for Trader because in Trader you have to have a right and left click on the mouse so you can throw the knife when you're the trader. So right now I gotta heal up, eat more food, which I'm wasting my food. I really did not want to do that because this will last me the whole rest of the episode. But I have to do it because I am about to die. Now I'm going to attack the drowned and die. Of course. But one doesn't give up. I am not a giver upper. I keep going. I keep fighting. So I got lucky. I picked up my sword very fast and I'm going to keep hitting this guy hoping that he dies. But of course, nope, I die again. But once again, I do not give up. So I collect my stuff, but I killed him. There you go. Killed my first mob. Monster Hunter. Awesome. Okay, we are here in the next clip and we are collecting dirt dirt and sand we need dirt and sand to clog up all of the water on our island and create a fat surface to build our house on because our house is not going to be a swamp home or it's up on legs or anything i'm just collecting this so i can fill the hole and then build on top of it which will be pretty cool this won't take me too long because there's not much land there i will be expanding the island at some point but i'm not quite sure when so, I am collecting a lot of resources right now. Here we go. Right now, I'm building with the sand. And I'm building the foundations of my home after I went and collected wood for about half an hour straight. This is a foundation of my home. This is just the start of my home. So, right here, I'm putting in the glass, which is the final touches in my house. I've built the entire house. And the style, I'm not quite sure what it is, but I just built a normal little spruce house. Everything I could find on the mainlands. It's just wood, spruce wood, and then the wooden stairs, and that's it. That's all our house is. And then on the inside, it is cobblestone floors, and on the roofs, there's barrels, which is perfect for storage. That will be my storage situation for the first few episodes until I build a proper base and build other stuff. So my base this season uh, will take me probably 50 episodes or so. It will be a much bigger base than I'm used to. I am going huge here. I've never built a base the size of base I'm going to build. And it will be a very fun experiment for me. I've never built a huge base. I've only built... A lot of different houses in one area like this like I've built many villages with 50 houses in it or maybe more so I love the challenge I will be building a super nice house y'all will see later in the season when I start and select the color palette for all the buildings I will be building I will be building a futuristic style house 
or more like base, which would be pretty cool. So right now I'm settling in, I'm putting my stuff in there, my bed. Right now I do not have much stuff to put in my house. I don't have any decorations. That's because I just started. I don't even have very much iron. I have six pieces of iron, iron ore. That's it. I've not done anything yet. We'll do more in the next, next episode. But thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the Feral Daryl that plays today, which was Minecraft. We will be back to Roblox soon. Goodbye. Remember to subscribe.